All right, guys, here we are for another Nightwish video right here from the Sea Champagne Radio Show. Uh, we're glad to have you hanging with us. Absolutely, we are. Uh, no doubt about that, guys. Nightwish fans, I'm sure. Are you ready for the most controversial list from Nightwish? From me. Now, mind you, everybody, and I do mean everybody has an opinion, right? And we all have our favorite nice wish songs, and we all have our favorite this, and we all have our favorite that. And there's really absolutely nothing wrong with any list, honestly. Um, because, you know, music is per taste, right? So, you know, you might like this style a little more than that style. But I got to tell you, my list is probably whacked compared to most Nightwish fans. I got to tell you that. And I'm going to give you this list right now. Uh, I do... Uh, tell you we're going to do the Nightwish albums we're also going to do that as well and we're also going to some other Nightwish stuff so if you're a Nightwish fan if you're part of the Nightwish army and you want to get into some of these musical discussions don't forget first off to comment on my list because I want to hear your list I would love for you to type your top 10 down there let me see how my list compares to yours what you think of what I had to say that would be great um, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, of course, to get more great videos and me go on another journey of a band I have nothing, you know, to know nothing about because I didn't know nothing about Nightwish until someone turned me on to this about a year ago. So um, here we go for the most controversial Nightwish list ever. My very first, my number 10 song, I'm going to go with Higher Than Hope. Off the Once album. Um, it was a tribute to Mark Bruman, who had cancer. He passed away. I had the honor of speaking with his mother, who called me because I had did a reaction to the song. It's on my channel somewhere. And, um, and thanked me, and she was just a wonderful person. And, of course, that influenced my decision to put the song at number 10 because... Uh, it is a good song. You know, when you give it more listens, it, it just, it really is. It's a fantastic song. And um, uh, Jeannie, if you're watching this video, God bless you. And thank you so much for that phone call. Maybe we'll talk again soon. You never know. Uh, that was pretty awesome. Thank you so much for the phone call. Number 10, Higher Than Hope. Number nine, off the Wishmaster album, Fan is Mike. Yes, I said it. Fan is Mike. I said it. Number nine, that is a great song. I don't care what anybody says. There's a lot of people out there that, that, you know, when I did the review of the album, which you can check that video out on my channel as well, I put that in my top songs from the album. I love this song. I don't know why I like it so much. I think it's really cool. Uh, there was a couple of people commented on the video and said that they really liked it too. It was one of their favorite songs, but that's my number nine song, Fan is Mike. Number eight, here we go. Uh, my first Annette song, Last Ride of the Day. Now, I got to admit, I like Floor singing it better than Annette. But Last Ride of the Day has stuck in my head on many a drive home in the middle of the night after I get done performing. Because Last Ride of the Day, you know, get that whole thing in there. <laughs> I, I love that song. I, I you know, it. It just, it hits home for me. I know a lot of people may not like it or put that in their top 10. But anyways, you know, music, you have to relate to stuff. And for me, number eight is Last Ride of the Day. Now, my number seven song is um, is Everdream. Uh, another Lady T song. Because I, I'm not very good at pronouncing her name, so I just call her Lady T. So, Ever Dream is my number seven song. I, I thought that song was really good. She sang it so well. Um, but that's where I'm putting it, number seven, Ever Dream. Here we go. Um, number six is a song that I have. I always pronounce wrong. Uh, be, th this music is not normal for me, okay? It's not the, the kind of stuff that in my past I have ever listened to before. So titles and because this is kind of like a fantasy symphonic metal band and they have all kinds of fantasy uh, things going on there. They have all these titles that sometimes and, and all these names. I'm not too great at pronouncing them and I apologize for that. But um, <clears throat> ah, 
<laughs> I can't even get it out of my mouth. Um, Amaranth, if I got that right, uh, you know, I love this song off the uh, uh, Dark Passion Play album. It, it, it just got such a cool groove to me. Um, I thought the song was was really strong. I, I like it. You know, I mean, it, it to me, this is this is one of the best songs off Dark Passion Play, uh, if not the best song off Dark Passion Play. I, you know, it, I go back and forth sometimes with these Nightwish songs. I don't know if you do or not, but that is my number six song. Number five, The Kinslayer off the Wishmaster album. Uh, this is just a really good rock song. Um, I really can't say it any other way. I mean, I could go on and on and on, but who really wants to hear me go on and on about a song you know so well about, right? You want to just be to get to the top. What are the other songs on the list, right? Well, I got the Kinslayer at number five. We're going to the Once album again for my number four song for Nemo, which I think is a strong song for them as well. Um, you know, the, the, the Once album, what can you say about that record, really? I mean... What can you say about it? Nemo is my number four song. My number three song um, I had to discover because what ended up happening was is I listened to all these albums and, uh, you know, because I wanted to find out what the next album was and I didn't realize they had released a couple other things that weren't on an album before. And that would be Sleeping Sun, which was on a maxi single. Uh, I kind of stumbled across that, but I love this song. It's like, it's almost a shame that it wasn't included on an album. I'm sure they probably have some kind of bonus edition or something where they threw it on there, uh, but I wouldn't know that. But I do know the song is very good. Sleeping Sun is one of my favorite Nightwish songs. Not quite my favorite because it's number three, but are you ready for the shocking two and one? Are you ready for this? Of course you are. Uh, you probably know what they are. Uh, they're very common Nightwish favorites. Um, number two is the Wishmaster. I got to do that at number two. Um, that's it's just I love that record too. A Juka is amazing. Uh, you know, a lot of people like Kai. I'm a Juka guy. Uh, I don't know, just something about that guy Juka. The way he plays, the way his drums sound. I can hear the difference between the two. I'm not saying Kai sucks or anything like that, but. Uh, it, Duke is really good. He's, he's a really, really good drummer. Probably one of the most underrated drummers in rock music, to be honest. Uh, the Wishmaster, number two. My number one song, I, I Wish I Had an Angel, off of the Once album. Uh, now, I'm not going to tell you what my favorite album is, but you might get an idea from my top ten list. But what's your top ten Nightwish songs? I'm going to do my top Nightwish albums. I'm going to rank those. And another video, but these are my top 10 Nightwish songs. But what are yours? I want to know what yours are, okay? Because, you know, you're going to get confused. If I don't hear from Nightwish fans on this and you hear your top 10 list, you know, because, you know, it's really interesting how one day I think I like this song better than the other one, and then the next day it changes. So I would love to hear your list and how whacked, you think my list is, but if you're a Nightwish fan, if you're a true Nightwish fan, there is no bad list, really. So uh, let's see what your comments are. Don't forget to hit that like button. That helps the algorithms. Keep the Nightwish Army thing going. Let's float it around the neighborhood, if you will, on YouTube. So hit that like button for me. Don't forget the bell icon. Whenever you hit, uh, you know, get that, you'll, you'll hear some new videos that I'm going to be doing. We talk about music of all styles here at the Steve Champagne Radio Show, and I want you to be a part of our internet musical global family of friends, our music army, if you will. So hit that subscribe button and give me your top ten list of the greatest Nightwish songs of all time. I can't wait to hear that. Look for my other Nightwish videos, and thank you so much for watching from the Steve Champagne Radio Show.